I'm Carla Schimmelfennig, Registered Physical Therapist, and welcome back to InjuryGuru.com. This is exercise number three in the Tennis Elbow Exercise Program. This one is called Radial Deviation. Uh, if, remember, I don't care what you call the exercises, you do not have to remember the name, as long as you can remember the motion uh, and remember what that looks like. Um, a, a tip I like to give my patients um, is if you, uh, when you get to the end of all the exercises in this program, um, write them down as you're going so that you have that on a piece of paper and you can take that to work with you or put it uh, different places throughout the house. So it, for one, it will remind you to do the exercises and two, uh, you'll make sure that you don't forget any of them. When I see a patient in the clinic, um, I have a computer program where I can print off the exercises. I have a nice picture of them with description. Uh, but because this is a website and um, I can't do that for you, you do have uh, the luxury of having a video that you can watch over and over, but I can't give you those nice pictures. So as you're going, write these exercises down, describe them however you need to in order for you to remember them yourself. Uh, so let me show you this exercise. Uh, it's that same position with one leg crossed over the other. Place your good arm over your knee and your painful side on top of that arm or hand. When you start with this exercise, you want your um, hand and your thumb facing up toward the ceiling as if you're going to shake somebody's hand. And it looks like this. So it's just bringing that thumb uh, back right along your forearm. When you do this exercise, I want you to do three sets of 15 to 25 repetitions. You can rest 10 to 20 seconds in between each set. I want you to do uh, three, all three sets of that each time you do it during the day or each session. So uh, three to four times during the day for this exercise and all the exercises in this program. Remember you're committing to this for one to two weeks and at the end of that time you're going to see how it feels. If it's feeling better, you're going to keep on going.